report reveals global atheist discrimination. Uh, Humanists at Risk Action Report 2020, published by Humanist International, revealed mounting evidence that humanist and atheist activists are being targeted on the basis of their rejection of a majority religion or their promotion of human rights, democratic values, and critical thinking. The report is largely based on testimony from 76 people in the eight countries surveyed. A range of persecutory tactics are used, including the criminalization of blasphemy and apostasy, impunity for assaults, as well as social isolation and discrimination. And we uh, we were mentioned in this report, weren't we? Yes, we were mentioned eight, in this report. And eight Republic. Yeah. Wait, uh, so who's, let's give credit. Who's this report by? Humanists International. Humanist International, which is like the, uh, when it comes to research and data analysis, like they are at the organization that actually pays attention to us atheists and the way that atheists are treated around the world. So like if you guys, I don't know how you can support Humanist International, but I'm really glad they changed the name because their previous name really, really sucked. Nobody rem nobody could remember that, but yeah. Humanist International is really good. But go check them out. They have really helped us out. They have they they presented our case in uh, United Nations Security Council. This Atheist Republic was mentioned in United Nations Security Council when the government of Malaysia came after our atheist uh, members in Kuala Lumpur. Mm -hmm. um, so and in this report, what what did they mean? Is that what they mentioned about Atheist Republic in this report about yeah, the? Yeah, share my screen if you want to see it. I have the. Oh sure. Pulled up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyone who is interested in this, just Google "humanists at risk" action report action report twenty twenty, and it's one of the first things that show up. Okay, let me try this. I haven't tried sharing my screen before. Okay, cool. Can you see this? Um. Yeah. Cool. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. The, there is Atheist Republic and the picture. There we are. What? Dude, this guy, this is my mood right here. Just like, what's <laughs> up? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's really cool. And um, wait, shoot. Now, how do I stop sharing? Okay, there we go. Um, what's really cool is they highlight a bunch of people in specific cases in um, throughout the world. And one of the most important cases that they're highlighting right now is um, Mubarak Bala, who is still presumably um, imprisoned by the Nigerian government for um, blasphemous in quotations posts on Facebook. And he was the president of the Humanist Association of Nigeria. Um, so still free Mubarak Bala. Um, I'm really uh, happy that they decided to make uh, his case really featured in this report. And um, they also feature a lot of stuff about Pakistan, which I found really interesting. So I encourage everyone to go read this report. Um, and they even provide um, a whole section for each country that they highlight, um, a list of recommendations. Oh, is there an Iran section in that? I want to read um, that. This report didn't actually highlight Iran, which um, I was a little bit disappointed by. Um, but they highlight, let me see here, Colombia, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Nigeria, Pakistan, the Philippines, and Sri Lanka. Oh, I would only read the Philippines as well. Uh, Michael Sherlock in the Facebook live chat is saying Atheist Alliance International um, are co is co fix your grammar, Michael is collaborating is collaborating with Humanist International on a case in Algeria where an ex-Muslim woman burned a Quran on TikTok. Oh, are we covering that news? We should be covering that news. Well, we've been we we did go fund me. We did already. Yeah. We did. Okay. We did talk about it. Okay, um, but if anyone is interested in learning more about that case that Michael just mentioned, just Google save an ex-Muslim who burned a Quran on TikTok and go fund me. Mm -hmm. And you can learn more about this case mm -hmm. and help um, save this whole family, basically, in um, Algeria because um, they're facing a lot of death threats and they need to be relocated. Um, yeah. Um. Okay, so by the way, atheists are one of the most uh, pr uh, 
persecuted, persecuted or persecuted, 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 per persecuted uh, uh, groups, uh, persecuted by being persecuted. How about that? Yes. Uh, minorities in the world, and um, and the one of the one one that gets the least amount of attention. You know, the level of shit atheists have to go through around the world. If any other minority minority group was going through that, it would be getting, you know, worldwide coverage, you know, cover to cover. I mean, imagine, anyways, you, I have already talked about this many times. Um, but up. Um, uh, what's the name of the news agency? Is it Rutgers or Rugers? Um, they were going to make a huge it's feature. It's Reuters. Right. Thank you. Oh my God, my dyslexia. Um, <laughs> Uh, they were going to do a big feature on Mubarak Bala, and then they didn't when they found out that he was just an atheist activist and not an LGBT activist. They like decided to drop the story. So yeah, people aren't compelled to um, take it as a serious problem as much as any other um, identity group, uh, which is a big problem. Um, yeah. So, and again, a lot of people, some people might say like, well, why do we need a report like this? Isn't it obvious? Blah, blah, blah. I mean, we need reports like this because we don't want to be able to, we don't want to go to people who are like, well, it's obvious. Like people are like, no, can, where's the fucking data? Right. I'm not going to just go based on what people see the personal experiences and shit like that. That That's not convincing. We need data like this. So Humanist International is putting their effort behind like you know this really helps at least we have something to show people to go like hey look this is a real issue that we need to deal with right and again by the way uh we're not uh just because when we say atheists are um you know victims and being oppressed we're not like we're not claiming that about ourselves like people are like oh whoa poor you like no i mean i'm fine um, I think the rest of you guys are also not. I mean, I don't know about Shopham, but the rest of us are being not being that. You know, we're not victims at all. We're not claiming that we're victims just because we're talking about other atheists that are victims. We're not telling anybody to be like, oh, well, poor us. Like, no, we're fine. By the way, Shopham, you want to say something? Yeah. So because this uh, report mentions like India is one of the six, uh, eight countries where uh, they did the studies as well, the survey as well. I wanted to mention, like, uh, yeah, just like you were saying, we are not talking about ourselves. I mean, I live in India, I'm an atheist, but I've never been, like, really ostracized from the society for being an atheist. I've been for other reasons, but not for being an atheist. But even in the most liberal societies in India, uh, atheists, maybe they're not directly uh, ostracized that much, but people have this mentality that, if someone doesn't believe in God, they're immature and they don't know what they're talking about. Like, if you just let them know, oh, you don't believe in this stuff, then they, they will not take you seriously at all. Like, yeah, this but... has happened in my own family. Like, if I ever say something, they're like, oh, you will grow up and realize there's a God. I'm like, no. <laughs> oh, right. my family says that to me all the time. And, but... Yeah, I mean, but that's not, that's not the really, like, if you, I mean... <laughs> If you, I, know, I know that's not what Shopham you're saying, but if you guys want to see how bad the situation is, just go get and read this report, okay? Don't oh, yes, believe us. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's that's another thing. Like uh, in India, like religion, anything outside religion is not accepted legally because you have to be subscribed to one religion. So atheists in India subscribe to most of them are uh, subscribed to Hinduism. Some closeted ex-Muslims are subscribed to. Islam and everything. I I mean, I'm legally still a Hindu because I cannot be an atheist legally in India. But mm. there was this one guy who actually like fought really hard mm -hmm. in the courts to get an atheist and uh, no caste certificate because he said, I'm an atheist, I'm not a Hindu, so I don't need a caste either. And that he was granted the certificate, but that, and then what happened is no one gave him a job. Because and he's an atheist and he didn't have a caste. Because you have to legally, you have to mention in the forms what your caste is everywhere. Wow. And if you are an atheist and without caste, you cannot do that and they won't give you a job. So he didn't get a job. And I, I didn't follow him uh, what happened next, but that's what happens when you try to be in like legally that atheist. Was awesome. He had atheists like tattooed huge on both of his forearms. So it was just like, bam! <laughs> 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 but, yeah. 
Michael Sherlock is uh, on Facebook live chat saying atheists just want the right to be uh, sane without being hunted down because we don't follow the dangerous illusions of our ancient ancestor. Um, w- one thing I want to add uh, is like we have to be careful because eventually when this civil rights movement of atheists picks up and becomes uh, at some point, I'm hoping it will be taken seriously because right now is nobody thinks it matters compared to other minority groups. But when it does, we have to be careful. We have to learn from all these other civil rights movements not to overcorrect uh, because the overcorrection always damages the movement. Like we are not, at, we shouldn't, when we finally do get the attention that we deserve, we shouldn't ask for privileges. We shouldn't ask for special treatment. Um, we, sh- you know, we should just, we shouldn't be telling people not to make jokes about atheists or, oh, this is offensive or that is offensive or that we need to, people need to uh, pay for crimes of the past and shit like that. We just need to be like, Hey, we don't, we don't claim superiority to other people. Uh, we just want to be treated just like everybody else. That's, that's the only thing we want. We want to be treated equally and not overcorrect. That's right. Okay. Um, in the in the Facebook live chat, Yuval was asking me was uh, was a Nehru and atheist and 6:57 a.m. timestamp and yeah, I mean Nehru, uh, the first prime minister of uh, uh, Republic of India, he was an atheist. But even then, like we, our first prime minister was an atheist, but still atheists uh, like ostracized in India. So that's the situation. Oh, where did Susanna go? Jesus, we lost our newsreader. Um, let me see. So, you want eight... me to read? Oh, there we go. We have her back. Oh my God, I don't know what oh, happened. She that comes... scared me. Oh. <laughs> um, it's so weird. Like me and Shubham, who are streaming from third world countries, we have rarely problems with our internet. The Rifka and Susanna, who are streaming from first world countries, always have issues with their internet. Dig so. it. Dig it, man. Yeah. It's always this way. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not... Telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 